about 17. I knew I wanted to work in something creative. Um, I wasn't quite sure what, so I did a load of internships um, and ended up working for a guy called John Wright, who we, I landed on my feet when I started working for him. I was his intern for three months. I was unpaid, three months, make it happen. But it worked. And um, when I fell into John Wright, we started working straight away with like Lady Gaga, Cheryl Cole, the costumes were everything. And it was the most inspiring experience in my life. I think I'm inspired by everything. Um, personally, I like to change what I'm doing all the time. So I wouldn't necessarily say I'm fixed into just fashion. I like doing portraiture, I love doing film, I love photography. Um, I do kind of change my roles quite a lot within what I'm doing. So I would say inspired and passionate about anything to do with film and moving image. I think social media is the only way forward for people to be able to have that exposure and build a community um, because before it was all about your website and you hope that people find your website and you send an email to them, please go on my website and check out my work. Now you can physically put your work in front of people and you have this huge platform that is based around imagery. So creating your style, creating your own magazine, almost, your own portfolio um, within a community of people who are searching for you. So I think social media is the biggest tool we have at the moment. Social media has helped me um, in a few different ways. I actually mentioned it in my talk earlier that um, an example of successful social media is that I met an illustrator on just through those scanning nights where you're just looking through um, the internet endlessly and ended up finding an illustrator and I followed him. He followed me back. We're both liking each other's pictures. He got a huge job um, working with a big department store. They needed a photographer and videographer. He remembered me from my Instagram page and I got the job. And that's just an example of a way that following the right people, um, I mean, you don't want to be a photographer, people look at your follows and it's all Brad Pitt, David Beckham, no, that's not going to get you anywhere. You need to build that community. So I think, it, I think that that's a fantastic way uh, to promote yourself. The best advice I have is to plan what you're going to post. I think the thing that everyone's starting to realise, I've been working a lot with brands recently and what we've started to realise, you can't just post one image and put your website underneath. It has to be planned out. You want to create an identity for yourself. So if you're a blogger and you're really into photography, you want to think about the, the Instagram page as a whole rather than just that one picture and I think that's really important for anyone starting to set up a social media whether it's a Facebook page or an Instagram page think of it think of the bigger picture don't put any of your personal thoughts or pictures of your dog um, think of it as a magazine layout and what you want people to take away from it and keep your consistent style the whole way through. Think of it in threes or sixes or nines where you're looking at it as a whole that people will scroll through and see all your best work. If I had to pick one word to describe photography, I would say surprising. <laughs> I think it's the element of surprise that you never know what your next job is, um, is what has kept me always inspired and wanting to do it.